Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Zorn, and today I'll be presenting on the C3 Claris third generation use application for the evaluation of a patient with microhematuria. So it's a gentleman who we're gonna be checking on the kidneys to see if there's any cysts, any stones, or any t tumor masses of the kidney. So using our handheld ultrasound in combination with cystoscopy or at, during the initial visit, one can use the ultrasound to evaluate the upper tracts. So we'll go ahead and place our C3 device onto the upper right quadrant of the patient. We're on the abdominal uh, mode for the ultrasound. i breathe in. There we go, so that was our rib. There's our liver, so hold that please. Here's our liver, homogeneous structure. You can see the portal system. And as I contour down, we have the C. There we go, center image. A little refraction from the ribs central fat of the kidney. So I'm going to focus it on there, rotate, and we should be able to see the remain of the kidney. Okay, you can breathe, sir. Follow that kidney. And again, breathe in. Let me push down. There's our patient's right kidney. We'll lower it a bit there. So we're looking at the midsectional view. This Renal fat, the sinus in the central portion, seems normal. Again, take a deep breath. So we're trying to see that cortical medullary junction. The zoom in here. There's our kidney. So go ahead and measure its longitudinal view, multi distance. And we'll do the same on the left side momentarily. So perusing lower pool to upper pool, I don't see any evidence of any calcifications, stones or tumors. I'll repeat now on the left side. So place on our gel. Go live and now we'll be looking at the left side. And what we're looking to see is the silhouette of the kidney and taking those sagittal and coronal views. So come more to the left here. There's our kidney. So there's a nice view of that C structured, nice parenchyma and the central sinus fat looks more white. So I'll go ahead and take a couple of images here. Looking from lower pool and scrolling up to the upper pool. Looks within normal limits. So. So I don't see any evidence of any cysts or stones or hydronerosis. So that completes our examination of a gentleman's bilateral kidneys to make sure that everything's within normal limits to add to the evaluation of microhematuria. So thank you.